वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ सेवरल वेरिएबल वॉट विल बी द डोमेन ऑफ दैट फंक्शन वॉट विल बी द रेंज एंड हाउ द फंक्शन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट इन अवर रियल लाइफ एंड वी हैव सीन द रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सच फंक्शन टू डिस्कस विद द लिमिट एंड कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द फंक्शन सेवरल वेरिएबल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट विल बी द नेबरहुड ऑफ द पॉइंट इन आर स्क्वेर एंड इन आर एन इन जनरल विल टॉक अबाउट द टू टाइप्स ऑफ नेबरहुड ऑफ अ पॉइंट इन आर टू द फर्स्ट वन इज रेक्टेंगुलर नेबरहुड सी इन द आर इफ यू हैव आर एंड इफ यू हैव गिवन अ पॉइंट ऑन अ रियल लाइन लेट से दैट पॉइंट इज एक्स जीरो we know that the neighborhood of this point x0 is uh, x0 open interval x0 minus delta 2 x0 plus delta this will be the uh, delta neighborhood of this point x0 that you have that means it is a nearing ne neighboring point of uh, any point given point is there so here in the two dimensional space if you have this is your x axis and this will be your y axis and if you given any point in this plane as a point ab what are the neighboring points of this point ab that can be measured in many ways so one of the ways is by taking a uh, surrounded by one square in that square whatever the points are there they are the neighboring of this point now how to define mathematical terminology uh, the neighbor hood of a point is denoted by n of ab with the radius delta this is the notation it is the says as neighborhood of a point ab with a radius delta it is defined as the a minus delta a plus delta cross b minus delta to b plus delta so if you can see this is by geometrically what will be this so if you have this is your y axis and if you have this is your x axis and if this is the point a b then you know that this point is a and this will be the a minus delta and this will be the a plus delta and here you have the point b this will be the b minus delta and this point is b plus delta so whatever the square formed by this four lines that is x is equal to a minus delta x is equal to a plus delta y equal to b minus delta and y equal to b plus delta that square is formed whatever the square formed by bounded by this four lines it's called the neighborhood of this point ab it is also written in this form set of all xy in r2 such that a minus delta open interval a plus delta your x is belongs to this interval and your y is belongs to b minus delta to b plus delta this way also you can define or you can define in this manner xy belongs to r square such that mode of x minus a less than delta and y minus b is less than delta this way also we can define as a neighborhood also we can write in the same manner if you remove this modulus you know that the mode of x less than some number 2 then the x should be between minus 2 and 2 in the similar manner if you expand this this will we can say that x my x y belongs to r square such that it will be the a minus delta between x is between a minus delta to a plus delta and y is between uh, b minus delta to b plus delta so this way the neighborhood of a point is defined and it is also another notation for this uh, some of the book they are using this notation so that is another way to define then another definition or next definition is the deleted neighborhood 
so i'm writing neighborhood in short form it is n b h d so it is a deleted neighborhood of a point so deleted neighborhood means in the also you have defined in your 12 standard for r the deleted neighborhood is you remove the if this is the neighborhood x minus x0 minus delta to x0 plus delta and if you remove this center point that is x0 from the neighborhood that is called the deleted neighborhood so here is also the de deleted neighborhood is denoted as n delta star ab which is nothing but the n delta ab minus the point ab you remove the center or the point from the neighborhood then it's called the deleted neighborhood of a point so it is uh, uh, symbolically it will be written as set of all x y belongs to r square such that your x minus a is less than delta is between 0 and delta and y minus b is also between mode of that is also between 0 and delta so this is called the deleted neighborhood the next uh, one example or draw n001 so if you can try to draw this is in n001 then you can say that this will be the radius is 1 of that that is the point 00, zero you have this is by symbolically we can say that it is a set of all order pair x y such that your x minus 0 less than 1 and y minus 0 is less than 1 try to draw this neighborhood with center 0 0 and radius 1 then I can plot it in this manner this will be the point 0 0 and your x is between minus 1 and 1 so that is the minus 1 here 1 is here y is also between minus 1 and 1 and this uh, neighborhood is actually bounded by four lines they are y equal to minus 1 y equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 1 in between whatever the area bounded by this four lines is neighborhood of a point zero zero rectangular neighborhood of a point zero zero and the radius is 1 the next one we are defining as a spherical neighborhood of a point a b so spherical neighborhood of a point a b is denoted by s a b delta and as i told you neighborhood nothing but the neighboring point of a given point so if you have a point a b then neighboring point in the above definition we consider as a square surrounded by this point here we are considering a disc surrounded by this point so that's why it is a spherical whatever the point surrounded in this disc they are all set, a set of all points are known as the spherical neighborhood of a given point in the by mathematical way it can be represented set of all x y belongs to r square such that x minus a square plus y minus b square is less than delta square so that is the definition of a spherical neighborhood of a given point in the same manner as we are de de defined the rectangular deleted neighborhood here is also spherical deleted neighborhood defined is s star of a b delta which is the s of a b delta minus the center point that is a b so if you remove the center point point from the neighborhood spherical neighborhood it will give you a deleted neighborhood the notation for this is also it is denoted as s delta of a b uh, for the spherical neighborhood and for uh, deleted neighborhood is here is a star so this is the notation for deleted neighborhood of given point for example the question is to draw a spherical neighborhood with cent with center 0 0 radius 1 that can be plotted as in xy plane if you consider this is x axis this will be your y axis 
and this will be the center 0 0 and the radius is 1 so you can plot that okay, so the radius will be 1 here so whatever the points lies inside this disk the all points are known as the spherical neighborhood of a point 0 0 with radius 1 now what we have defined the two neighborhoods and we are saying that both these neighborhoods are equivalent neighborhoods in the following sense if you note that this spherical neighborhood with center AB radius delta is a subset of a rectangular neighborhood with center AB radius delta which is also subset of spherical neighborhood AB square root of 2 delta see this statement is easy to see or easy to prove if I take as an example 0 0 1 if I take the spherical neighborhood with center 0 0 and radius 1 then this will be represent or write as this form square root of 2 is here now if you can draw this three uh, neighborhoods so if I consider this is your y axis and this will be your x axis uh, center is 0 0 that we have considered the radius the first s spherical neighborhood with center 0 0 radius 1 that means this one is this uh, disc the second one is a rectangular neighborhood that we can have with radius 1 so that means this distance is 1 so we'll have the rectangle like this and the third one that is this will have the radius is root 2 center is the same as this is 1 and this is also 1 by Pythagoras theorem this diagonal the half diagonal is root 2 because this is 90 degree so this is root 2 and if you plot the radius with root 2 you will have this circle so that is the disk whatever the points which is lies in this green portion inside the green portion that is this uh, spherical neighborhood 0 0 root 2 and in topologically uh, this three neighborhoods are equivalent so whenever we have a definition of limit or continuity uh, discussion is there whatever the definition you use either you use the spherical neighborhood or you use the rectangular neighborhood is equivalent in topological sense so with that remark let us recall what we did in this lecture we have talked about the neighborhood of a given point in R2 so we have talked about the rectangular neighborhood and the spherical neighborhood and at the last we say that both the rectangular neighborhood and the spherical neighborhoods are equivalent neighborhoods the whatever the discussion we have did it is for two dimensional space that means it is in R2 the same concept can be generalized in R3 or in general in Rn space because in R3 you consider a rectangular neighborhood as a cube so you consider a point and surrounded by whatever the points lies inside the cube and the spherical neighborhood you consider as a sphere at the center ABC if you consider in R3 and and you can show both the this rectangular neighborhood and spherical neighborhoods are equivalent neighborhoods in in the sense as we have discuss above also the same concept you can generalize for n dimensional space that I am left you guys for do yourself that's it for this video if you have liked this video please do press a like button if you have any comments any suggestions or any questions you have please drop down in a comment box thank you very much Bye-bye. Sayonara.